What's going on everybody? This is Jay Leno and I'm here to give you guys my review of the Wolverine issue 41 aka part one of the Sabretooth War. Uh, just a side note, this story takes place right after X-Force issue 50 and prior to the fall of the House of X issue 1 and the rise of the powers of X issue 1. Okay, so upon the founding of Krakoa, the island nation home for all mutant kind, Victor Creed, aka Sabretooth, was the first cast into the pit for breaking the, uh, the foundational law of the land to kill no humans. But Krakoa is no more. Wolverine and the remnants of the X-Force have taken refuge at a hidden base at the North Pole as they try to survive in a world that has outlawed mutants, okay? So before the fall of their nation, Creed escaped. In his adventures, he has teamed up with a group of renegade, alternate reality saber tubes, who he leads from their spacecraft stolen from orchids. So Sabretooth pretty much runs into the X-Force to get his revenge and as you guys can see he completely mutilates Cyclops' face. Uh, fair warning to the weak stomach and the weak minded this will be one of the most gruesome comics you've seen from X-Men at least to my knowledge and my eyes. Alright. Moving forward. All right, so I hate to butcher his name. So Lord Summer Easel <laughs> and Wicker Man are having a conversation. And it looks like Wicker Man is traveling across the North, Co North Pole and Wicker Man is by himself. I believe that simultaneously as he's traveling, he's not aware of the boy Victor or AKA Sabretooth being of on the North Pole simultaneously while he's traveling across the North Pole and Sabretooth's ship approaching at the same time. Oh, might I also add that Stark Industries uh, pretty much has its influence towards the Sentinel program. So let's just say these are upgraded Sentinels roaming across the galaxy, preferably across the US no no my fault across the world okay so Wicker Man is traveling across Krakoa simultaneously while Station 5 aka Sabretooth's ship or faction of Renegade Sabretooth are also approaching Krakoa alright immediately upon arrival the Renegade of Sabretooth's can can already get a reading of a mutant on Krakoa okay and so while Wicker Man is traveling across Krakoa he runs into the Tony, Sp Tony Stark Sentinels and gets into a bit of a scuffle <laughs> but <laughs> things don't really work out for Mr. Wicker Man after defeating the Tony Stark Sentinels the Sabretooths find him and completely mutilate, mutilate him to a pole. I'm talking, all right, one of these saber tubes have the ability to shapeshift and he shapeshifts into a Wolverine and he's even capable of smelling like Wolverine. And that's when he's able to get close to Wicker Man and immediately stabs into his jugular and the rest of the saber tubes starts eating away at his flesh like a pack of wolves. I'm talking flesh everywhere. It looks like his head was still on his body, but as far as his organs, they were open for digestion. <laughs> and it doesn't get any better than this. All right, so meanwhile, in the North Pole, Wolverine, Akiro, and his band of whatever's left over of his mutants that he pretty much associate with have a base where, they, where they're pretty much are prepping for survival. And they're sitting outside in the snow, 
and long story short wolverine tells him to to, uh to skin and butcher this caribou while he goes inside of their base and makes his rounds and to check on everyone else and see and pretty much see how everybody's doing and to check on wicker man who's supposed to be in Krakoa on a mission. All right. So Wolverine walks around reminiscing, thinking about Victor apparently, and feeling like he's, I don't know, his uh, Wolverine mutant senses is tingling for some reason, thinking about Sabretooth. <laughs> but anywho, while he's going around making his rounds, the, um, the group of Sabretooths end up landing in the North Pole and finding the base that Wolverine and his crew are at. Alright? This is when it gets wicked. So, upon approaching them, a key hero and whatever this other guy is that remains nameless in their group, while he's skinning the caribou, they approach this guy with this winter hat and he literally takes his claws and penetrates through his back and goes through the his chest and like just completely rips open his 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 inner torso in half with his bare hands it looks like a freaking fatality on mortal Kombat. like it gets freaking gory splits him complete in half then goes to akiro and saber to getting into a one-on-one -on -one brawl and long story short victor rips this man into pieces limb from freaking limb and with his leftover body parts all right check this out he spells out happy birthday to logan aka wolverine in the snow so don't forget wolverine's freaking in the base talking to the rest of the mutants and checking on wicker man and they don't get they don't have any readings on wicker man right now why because he's freaking dead all right <laughs> that's how fast saber tooth and his crew of saber tooths <laughs> have been mooing and he's been seeking revenge since he was banished into the pit so Sabretooth is trying to get rid of all mutants in existence at this particular moment like <laughs> um this is my first Sabretooth comic or this is really uh my first wolverine comic as well other than me reading the uh predator versus wolverine series and especially with this being a part of the uh the rise and fall of x and um i'm really excited for it i really am like leaning towards uh you know i would not introduce this to children but um for marvel having a reputation of being a very uh, uh kid friendly comic book series the gore and violence that you would normally get from image comics or from a lot or, or from dark horse you're able to get that through this marvel series in particular with the saber tooth war between wolverine and saber tooth i'm really excited to see what's to come of wolverine when he finds out <laughs> i th that i think the haiki hero guy i don't know if that's his son but they were fairly close and he almost looks at all these mutants as like his like kids to an extent i mean he's a lot of mutants have passed have died within this time frame not to mention you might as well say that the x-force is mutilated so we're going to see what's to come in issue two aka part two of this Wolverine series and what Wolverine's gonna do to Sabretooth right now. So special. special.